So today's video is on a topic that is very close to a lot of people's hearts, a lot of people's bellies, stomachs, thighs, butts, boobs, the whole body basically, and that is stretch marks. Just about everybody in this society has stretch marks. I'd say 99% of people have stretch marks, so it's very common. I have stretch marks myself. If you've had like a past of dieting where your weight has gone drastically up and down and you've stretched the skin, it's come in and out like a concertina or whatever you call it, then you're likely going to have stretch marks. So I'm going to talk about that today. I've got a Q&A fruit bat chat, freely ask freely question, which is from Susan Leith. Freely, do you have stretch marks? And if so, have they gotten better since going high carb vegan? Susan, yes, they absolutely have got so much better since going high carb vegan. It has taken years to see the improvement. It's been very, very gradual. Just like the weight loss, it's been gradual, but it's been obvious and it's happened. And I am like really chuffed with the results. I'm very, very happy with the results. Initially, my I had um, stretch marks that were ready, purpley looking, very obvious. I'd run my hand over my butt, they're mainly on my butt, and it, it'd be ridgy. It'd be very, very ridgy and very obvious. And now I'm going to show you some photos. Now you can see that it's very faint. I don't have before shots because that's not something I really wanted to keep a memory of at the time. But as you can see now, they're very faint. And when I run my hand over my butt, I you know barely even feel it at all. So this lifestyle has definitely improved that like 100%. But as I said, it's taken years and years. And it depends on how you know severe your stretch marks are. If you've got really, really serious ones, then I think you can get improvement, but how much improvement is up to your body and up to how well you stay on this lifestyle, how healthy you're eating, how healthy your lifestyle is, how much exercise and lymphatic system pumping you do, because essentially they are scars. You have scarred your body. So you have to think about it in that way and you need to be realistic. But at the end of the day, they're just marks on the body, okay? Don't, you know, attach your self-esteem to these marks because they are not you. They don't define you unless you allow them to do that. You are more than your stretch marks. And just remember, 99% of people have them. So it's very normal in this society to have them. So just embrace them as much as you can, but definitely work towards improving them by you know, eating a healthy diet, living a healthy lifestyle, which is a high carb vegan lifestyle, raw till four lifestyle. It's gonna give your body the best chance at healing. That's what you wanna do. Create the best healing alkaline environment for your body to heal all these little things that are going on, including scarring as well. I've seen a lot of improvement in scarring on my body. Other things you can do, I've heard vitamin E, rubbing vitamin E oil into the scars is very good and also lymphatic like um, you know, exfoliation. You're exfoliating, but you're bringing blood to that area. You're improving the blood circulation. That is really healing as well. But I would say one of the most powerful things is exercise, is lymphatic system pumping. You want to pump, pump, pump to get those results. And fruits and veggies. I mean, like, come on. Cheers for fruits and veggies. Let's, let's give fruits and veggies a round of applause because fruits and veggies are the queen when it comes to cleansing the skin and having the best skin possible. So another thing too, losing weight at a natural rate. Okay, say you're three or 400 pounds now and you know, you're doing like an Atkins style diet. You are gonna get stretch marks from that because you're gonna lose weight drastically quick. It's gonna be a lot of water weight and then you're gonna put the weight back on. So you're gonna be this Constantina effect big time. So you wanna do it slow and steady, which is what you do on the high carb, raw vegan or vegan lifestyle. It's a slow and steady process if you eat enough and if you stay on track long enough. So do it slowly and you minimize your risk of, of getting those stretch marks, if that makes sense. Okay, so I hope that helps. I've got my little curly hair happening here today. Some of you have asked about that. It's just like a standard heat um, curling one, which isn't the best for the hair, putting heat on it, but I hardly ever do it. So I'm happy to do it occasionally. It's kind of funky, I like it. And tonight I'm going to Princess Knees. We're gonna have a feast. So I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful night, whatever you're doing. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself, and I'll see you soon.